Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Kat. As always, thank you for stopping in. Today is part of the series New Year, New Me. I bought a juicer. This is me just trying to be better, be more healthy. It's not going to be like crazy health diets or kicks or things. These are just things that are helping me along the way. Maybe it could be helpful for you as well. So that's why I'm sharing it. Before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so new year, new me. I'm trying here. I quit drinking coffee. It's a long story short. I have a whole bunch of, I have a plethora of problems with my body. I have inflammation. I have shitty skin. I, sometimes my hormones are messed up. They think my thyroid's kind of goofy. I don't like needles. I don't like taking over the counter. Like, I'm a mess. Okay, straight up mess. So anyway, my doctor and I come out with a solid plan of things to do to kind of get me feeling better. I used to wake up super groggy in the morning, like I couldn't function, my body hurt, I just couldn't get my shit together. Anyway, so he suggested pulling out coffee. Um, I nearly shit. I lived on coffee for years and years and years. Since I had my daughter, um, she is now seven, I had been living off of coffee like for six years, no word of a lie. However, before that, I hardly ever drank coffee. I was more of a tea person. So when he told me to pull coffee from my diet, I was like, I like immediately panicked. I was like, uh, no. And then I thought, you know what? Maybe because seven years ago, prior to me having my daughter, I actually felt really good in the morning. I did not feel groggy. I could go to sleep, all these things. And remember, I am not a doctor. I, I'm just giving you some information that it was passed along to me. So maybe if you want to try it, or maybe your doctor has said to you, quit coffee. Uh, I'm another person out there just like you. I also wanted to cut out as much refined sugars as possible, which actually came along with cutting out coffee for me. Cause I used to put a ton of international delight creamer into my coffees. Hold on, I got a hair. Anyway, so I used to put a lot of that. That's where a good portion of my sugar throughout the day came from. So I wanted to pull as much of that refined sugar out. I wanted to be able to keep natural sugars because I love juices and teas and lemonades, but I didn't want to have that refined sugar. So I had to find alternate ways to get that kind of juice fixed. I'm sorry, the light just changed. I'm in front of a window. It's cloudy. It's shitty out. I'm just living. Anyway, so I bought a juicer. So new year, new me, I bought a juicer. This is the second juicer I own. I sent my first one back. I hated it. And I'm going to explain why. It was really loud. It wasn't extracting as much juice as possible. I'll, I'll insert a picture of the one I purchased first and then sent back. Anyway, it wouldn't extract juice as well. It was really loud. It was a bag to clean. And I just, I was not having it. I'm like, this is not going well. New year, new me, mm, not off to a good start. And also it wasn't like aesthetically pleasing and I'm building a house. And so I know that I want all my kind of weird kitchen appliances and gadgets to kind of match, which would be like this color. I love this color. Like I love pops color. I don't want it just white and stark. I want like white, but like pops of color. So this is the color of all of my appliances, my kitchen aids, all my things. So then I found on Amazon, this juicer. It is the, and I'm going to butcher the name, but it's the San Mackey, the San Mackey juicer. And it looks like this. It is aesthetically pleasing. And I wanted to use this product before I actually recommended this product to you only because I wanted to give you a thorough review. So, First off, it was like $80 and 95 cents here in Canada, free shipping on Amazon. And they have a bunch of different colors. They have it in silver. They have it in red. They have it in this blue, wonderful blue color that I love so much. So I purchased it in blue. It took a while to get here. I ordered it like late December prior to Christmas. It took two to three weeks to get here. Um, it did come from California, so from California to Canada. It's not a huge distance, but because of all the shipping issues going on right now, it took a while to get here. However, 
Um, it was only $80, $80.95. There was like a little coupon, so click that little coupon thingy. So this juicer is a slow mastating juicer extractor. It uh, says it's got a quiet motor on it, um, reverse function, which is super handy, easy to clean with a brush, high juice yield, dryer pulp for vegetables and fruits. So this juicer, this is the red version that I've just pulled up here, looks like that. $89.99. Um, I didn't have any import fees on mine in Canada here. So that's a thing. I want to show you a juice I make while I have this and I'll show you how I put it together. It is super easy to put together, although there is a lot of pieces and it does separate the juice from the pulp. So you don't have to worry about that. I wanted to show you one of my favorite juices. One of my all time favorite like drinks is just like a, a nice watermelon juice. I like adding a few things in there. I try to stick with like, if I'm going to do a watermelon juice, I try to stick, if I'm going to infuse it with other flavors, I try to stick in the melon world. So like a mango, I put a little bit of lime in there. I'll put all the ingredients up on the screen as we're doing it. So you can follow along at home. Let's go to the kitchen. Hi, welcome to my kitchen. But here we are now, I'm gonna show you my juicer. So this is the juicer. You will need a plug-in, obviously. There's a bunch of parts and pieces to this and I've just cleaned them so they're nice and clean and fresh. So there might be a couple little water spots on them. You get two cups, you get a spigot spout. You get a little doohickey like this. This is where your fruit and vegetables can go into. You get a auger type bit and you get a filter. This is the hardest thing to clean. It did not come with a cleaning brush. However, go to your local dollar store, get yourself a little baby bottle cleaning brush. Works really well, pop it in the dishwasher. All these pieces and parts go into the dishwasher for me except for the actual machine itself. So this is what it looks like. And I could realistically keep this on my counter. I just don't because I have a bunch of other things that I use. It also comes with a little like push or downer thing, like a plow thing. It also comes with a scraper. I don't use this little bit, but you could also put this on the top and I'll show you that. I'll do that today to scrape all your veggies and fruits into the little chute. Okay, so and there's an on off switch, like on, off, reverse. As a bonus, there's suction cups on the bottom. So if you did leave it on your counter, it could just stay there and it wouldn't move. So first thing you wanna do, I'm gonna show you this. Cause I'm gonna, I'll do it up here, but there's a lock, like lock on and lock off. There, lock and unlock. And that's how you lock all your bits and parts into place. So before I even plug it up, just like this, then I put the little auger bit in like this, then goes the filter just like this. And then the little spigot goes on. There's a hole in here. This thing could be a little bit bigger in there. I don't think you can see that. That's how big it is. This could be bigger to me. My other one was bigger. Now, if you want to put this bit on top, you just pop that right on the top of there. And then this one, it says max. This goes for your juice and it slides in there and your pulp shoots out there. So in here, I've already chopped my mangoes. I got watermelon. I've got a, about this much of lime. I like watermelon lime. I put some raspberries in here as well, just to kind of infuse the flavor a little bit differently. I like lime with watermelon. People are like, ew, but honestly, it's really, really good. It's kind of, it gives it a, like a little bit of a fresher taste. I'm gonna relocate the camera and then we will go ahead and do a, like a little sound test for you as well. Okay, so we are gonna plug it in. It is just a standard US Canadian outlet. It's gonna beep at you once. I'm gonna turn it on and you can hear, I won't change the sound, I won't do anything like that. You can hear how quiet this thing is. So I'm gonna start off with a piece of mango. We're gonna pop this guy in. There.
So all of your excess comes out here and all your juice stays in there. Okay, so I've just had like done half of my bowl. So what I like to do, and this is optional. I don't even know if this is a thing. This is just me learning how to use this. I'm gonna take what's left over. As you can see, it is like fairly cleaned out, but I am gonna put it back down there and see how much extra juice we get. So we are getting quite a bit more juice out of there. So I'm just gonna give you some up close action. Watermelon, watermelon is one of my favorite things to juice because you get so much out of the watermelon itself. I don't particularly like the texture of watermelon. So for me, juicing it really works. Now there is a reverse function on this. I have only used it once with my pomegranate seeds. By the way, don't put anything frozen in it. It does not work. You have to have it warm or room temperature fruit temperature. Um, pomegranate seeds, I put frozen ones in. No, nah, no, nah, don't do that. Make sure they're room temperature. That was a little mistake that I made. I'm just giving you the information. I'm just going to show you how I take this apart and clean it. Just if you're wondering, I first unplug it. I have the juice already in a cup over ice. So that came out of there. Um, it's unplugged. I take this guy off. Um, I take this little bit off here. See, this is what gets full of the pulp because this is where it presses through. That goes in there. The auger comes out. This gets unlocked and off we go to the sink. Okay, so we're in the sink. First thing I do is I rinse out all of the the pulp and things like that, that goes in the dishwasher. I just make sure these are all really well depulped and de-stickied. This, I use a brush for. I have a number of like baby bottle brushes that I've used, so we'll just give that a good scrub. Get all of this kind of fruit out of there. I also have a garburetor, so if you don't have that, go over your garbage can. This is the thing that I wish was a little bit bigger. See that in there? Like you can't even fit a finger in there. But it is pretty easy to clean in. If something ever gets stuck in there, I just use a metal straw. That goes down there. And then all of this goes in the dishwasher. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm gonna put all my stuff in the dishwasher now. So like I said, it all goes in. Okay, the best way to drink fresh juice, I got my fresh juice here, is over ice. I highly recommend it. If you wanna add a little bit of water, you can. Um, that is something I have done in the past. But I will tell you this, it tastes phenomenal and you can't get anything better. It's so good. Another thing you can do is if you have kids or you like popsicles, you can get those little popsicle molds that you can get anywhere, like in the dollar store, um, Sheen has them. You can take some fresh juice, mix it with some water, just a little bit of water. You don't even have to mix it with water, just a little bit. Pop it into those um, popsicle makers and freeze it and you have fresh juice popsicles. I traveled a lot prior to COVID. So I got really, really into like Southern lemonades. I know they're sweet, but I have a, a recipe that is a quarter of the sugar, tastes phenomenal. If you guys want that, hit me down in the comments below. I hope you all are having a phenomenal new year. I know this whole COVID thing is still going on. I just wanna encourage you guys to maybe new year, new me, let's try something different. So that is what we're doing. So thank you all for stopping in. My name's Kat, as always. It's great to see you. It's great to be here. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. All right, guys, we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.